Okay, so today we're going to be working on some some money issues, and um, tell me how you know this is a problem. Um, what evidence do you have that you have money issues or money blocks? Like, what does it show up for you? Um, so it, it's most recently it shows up, um, but there's a pattern. But most okay. recently, um, I started working part time. Um, my kiddos got to the age where, you know, I'm going back to the workforce and I get paychecks like once a month and sometimes even longer than that. And they're, it, it just seems like they're not as big as I think they should be. I'm doing contract work. Okay. Um, and I, I know that there is kind of a lag with how the payments come in, but it just seems like, wow, it, could, it should be more consistent you know, um, and it should probably be more. And then. And it should be more because you should be working more hours or you think you should be pay getting paid at a higher scale? Like, let me hear that. Um, so it's based on the hours that I, I am work. So I get paid per appointment. Okay. And um, keeping track of my appointments, I'm like, wow, you know, I saw a lot of people this month. I should be getting a thousand dollar check this month. Well, when I got my check this month, it was like $500. Uh-huh. So, um, and again, I'm just working very part-time. Right. Um, but it's still that idea of, it's, it's not what I expect. And I'm wondering if I'm putting something out there. Um, okay. And, um, and you, and it's just the idea that, gee, I should be getting, I should be getting more but it's not like anyone is is like withholding money from you or it's it's not an accounting problem you really are getting paid what you are supposed to be getting paid well and yes but there's a there's a big lacking um and so the the person that i'm doing this contract work for is also um she's like well i'm gonna i'm, I'm gonna strive for paying you every two weeks but i'm gonna commit to every month and i'm like okay like I suppose. And then, you know, that month turned into six, seven weeks. Um, oh, okay. You know what I mean? And then mm -hmm. it was like, well, there were six, seven weeks worth of, of stuff that I did for this agency. And, um, and I, and I get that there's a lag because you have to wait for payments to come in mm -hmm. from other sources, but I'm like, wow, it's really not what I would have thought after six to seven weeks based okay. on my calculations. Okay. Have you said something? Um, not specifically. Okay. About. Okay. Um, and then aside from like working on the emotional stuff, is there anything that you can be doing in terms of that situation that you're not doing? Oh, definitely. Just like what you said, saying something, you know, asking for more consistency for a better, you know, a better consistency on, you know, when that money does come in, can we have, you know, paychecks more frequently on okay. or, or even, even more on a scheduled basis. Okay. And the idea of, of asking the resp person responsible about that and saying something about it, how are you feeling about doing that? Um, a little nervous. Okay. Um, I think she would be receptive and I think she would totally get where I'm coming from. Yeah. Um, just for me to, to take that step and say, Oh, you know, I would really appreciate it if you, you know, paid me every three weeks or made an effort to, um, yep. and, and nervous, um, nervous. Why do you feel nervous? Uh, I don't know, maybe because I think that I know that she's trying um, okay. and that, you know, just me asking that is just going to put more pressure on that situation. Um, okay. So zero to 10 on nervous, just imagining you bringing that up. Um, probably like a six. Do you feel that anywhere in your body? I feel it like in my upper stomach. 
All right, so let's just start there and see what, what might be connected to this. If I ask you to repeat anything that doesn't sound true, you'd like to say it in a different way, or something else shows up, let me know and we'll change it and fix it and make okay. sure it's landing for you. So even though I feel all this nervousness and pressure in my upper stomach. So even though I feel all this nervousness and pressure in my upper stomach. Just imagining having that conversation. Just imagining having that conversation. Saying that I would appreciate it if they paid me every three weeks. Saying that I would appreciate it if they paid me every three weeks. It makes me nervous. It makes me nervous. I feel like I'm putting pressure on them. I feel like I'm putting pressure on them. I deeply and completely accept myself. I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though I feel nervous in my upper stomach. Even though I feel nervous in my upper stomach. Just imagining having that conversation. Just imagining having that conversation. Just saying, I would appreciate if you paid me every three weeks. Just saying, I would appreciate if you paid me every three weeks. Feels like I'm putting them under pressure. It feels like I'm putting them under pressure. I deeply and completely accept myself. I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though I feel nervous. Even though I feel nervous. And I feel it in my upper stomach. And I feel it in my upper stomach. Just imagining having that conversation. Just imagining having that conversation. Saying, I would appreciate if you paid me every three weeks. Saying, I would appreciate it if you paid me every three weeks. Feels like I'm putting, putting them under pressure. It feels like I'm putting them under pressure. I deeply and completely accept myself. I deeply and completely accept myself. Good. Feeling nervous in my upper stomach. 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 Just imagining having that conversation. Just imagining having that conversation. It makes me feel nervous. It makes me feel nervous. Like I'm putting pressure on them. Like I'm putting pressure on them. Feeling nervous in my upper stomach. 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 Okay. So thinking about having that conversation, are you still feeling nervous? Um, a little. I'm not feeling it so much physically anymore. Okay. Um, Did something else come up? Uh, maybe just the thought that, uh, how do I say this? That, um, like, I, I, sh I shouldn't be asking for that. Like, I'm, I'm not... I'm not good enough or valuable enough to be asking for that. Okay. Um, and do you have any proof that you're not good enough or valuable enough? Um, I don't know. I mean, I, I, of course I could find something to say, oh, well that kind of supports that, um, you know, Okay. But is that hard proof or is it me thinking it's proof? Right. It's you thinking it. And that's really all this is about anyway. But um, what, w what can you point to that would be evidence that, you know what, I'm really not good enough to be asking that I get paid consistently? I would say it, it might be due to the fact that I took a large chunk of time off um, uh, and, and I worked in other you know, I did a home-based business or whatever, mm -hmm. but not in my field at, mm -hmm. for a good period of time. Right. Um, and so it's like, well, I almost feel like I'm brand new again, even though I do have years and years of experience. Um, okay. But now I'm brand new again. And so. Okay. okay. So just thinking that you shouldn't be asking to be paid consistently because you've just had so much time off and you're feeling like you're brand new again. Um, and that's what's going to go on in, is you think that this is going to go on in the, that person's mind? No, no. Okay. I don't think, I don't think she would feel that. Okay. So it's just you asking would make you feel like I shouldn't be asking because I'm right. brand new at this. Right. What's the emotion tied up with that? As you imagine, like I shouldn't be asking that. Um, I'm brand new. I feel like I'm brand new again. Maybe it's like just disappointment, like, oh, starting all over and um, maybe kind of sadness 
a little bit at myself for for losing that confidence. Okay. Um, Zero to ten on the sadness. Um, probably a seven. You feel it anywhere in your body? Um, kind of in my eyes. If that, that's weird, but. Okay. All right. Even though I feel the sadness and disappointment. Even though I feel the sadness and disappointment. Because I can feel I'm, I've lost my confidence. Because I can feel I've lost my confidence. I feel like I shouldn't even be asking to be paid consistently. I feel like I shouldn't even be asking to be paid consistently. Because I took so much time off. Because I took so much time off. It feels like I'm brand new again. It feels like I'm brand new again. And I deeply and completely accept myself. And I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though I feel the sadness in my eyes. Even though I feel the sadness in my eyes. Because there's a part of me that feels I shouldn't be asking to get paid consistently. Because there's a part of me that feels I shouldn't be asking to be paid consistently. Because I'm not good enough. Because I'm not good enough. And I feel the sadness that I've lost my confidence. And I feel the sadness that I've lost my confidence. I deeply and completely accept myself. I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though I feel the sadness in my eyes. Even though I feel the sadness in my eyes. Because I've lost my confidence. Because I've lost my confidence. If I feel that I'm not good enough to be asking to be paid consistently. I feel that I'm not good enough to be asking to be paid consistently. I deeply and completely accept myself. I deeply and completely accept myself. The sadness in my eyes. 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 Sadness and disappointment. The sadness and disappointment. That I've lost my confidence. That I've lost my confidence. That I'm feeling I shouldn't even be asking to get paid consistently. That I'm feeling that I shouldn't even be asking to be paid consistently. Because I'm not good enough. Because I'm not good enough. Feeling this sadness in my eyes. Feeling this sadness in my eyes. Feeling the sadness and disappointment. Feeling the sadness and disappointment. Okay. So I think, I mean, I, they're there, but just minimally. Okay. Um, so it's still sadness and disappointment that you're, you shouldn't even be asking and this is a thought and you're, you've lost your confidence. That is a zero to 10 on the sadness and disappointment. Um, I'd say maybe a one. Okay. And then imagining asking. How does that feel? Still nervous? Um, I'm just unsure. It's like, I, I feel like I'm, I'm unsure. Uh, just unsure. Even, even though I, I feel like I know what her reaction would be, I, it's just that fear of what if what I expect is different. Okay. I'm going to just put a pin on that and just um, leave it there for right now. Yeah. But I want to ask you, you know, before um, we started recording, I asked you that what you, what did you think that this was tied to the money issues? And you said a feeling of not deserving. And so here it is again. Right. And so um, it's, is this a pattern? How has it shown up in the past? Um, you feeling that you don't deserve? Um like job wise or yeah or money like, money wise yeah. yeah so when i ran my home based business um you know i felt like i had to offer the best prices because what if someone wasn't satisfied or um that you know whatever i was making and selling wasn't good enough to demand you know the high prices that other people were asking um and in those eight years, my, my income remained kind of the same, um, even though I was doing it for a long time. And so even since I've quit, people have come back to me and said, hey, uh, you know, I want to quit. And I'm like, well, I'm not selling that anymore. And, and so it, it's funny how that happened, where I felt like when I was doing it, it wasn't enough. But now I've got people coming back when I'm no longer doing it. Right. Um, but it's, it, that kind of thing was all tied up in... Um, I, I can't charge more than what I'm charging because people won't want, won't want it or they, they won't think that it's worth it. Okay. All right. 
And so is there anything that you're doing besides the contract work to bring in income or can or do you foresee doing something else besides contract work? Um you know, there's a possibility um of working so I, I actually just applied for something this week um, at a high school where, you know, I would be doing what I've done um, in the high school setting. Yeah. Um, and so part of me is really, really excited. And then the, the rest, there's all these little things in the back of my mind. Oh, well, they're not going to ask you because they want one of their own alumni or they're, they're not going to get back to you because whatever. Right. Okay. So have you, so you've applied? Yes. And, um, and you, you're, you're, you haven't heard back. Um, I heard back that they received my, my cover letter and resume. Okay. Um, all right. And the thought is that you're not going to get it because they're going to hire someone else. That's, that's a better, better qualified or someone right. from there. Okay. Um, and it's because you and and it's the idea again that you're not good enough, or you're yeah. not qualified. It's it's more, yeah. They're they're going to find someone that, you know, just wows them, and you know, that that there's no there's no way that I would go in and wow them. Okay, I want you to imagine that you would go in for an interview. Okay, and. Just thinking about that interview, and I'm not going to wow them. Okay. How are you feeling about that? Just imagining being there. Um, just imagining being there, I'm feeling nervous. But feeling of, thinking about, well, I'm not going to wow them. Um, it's that sadness, disappointment, like. Okay. Ugh. Which is stronger, the disappointment and sadness or nervousness, just imagining being there? Probably, probably the disappointment, sadness. Okay. And is it around the same idea that I've lost my confidence or something else, the sadness and disappointment? That's more around. Um, I'm not going to wow them. I'm not going to wow them. They're not going to see something in me. Okay. And how strong is that sadness and disappointment? Uh, probably a seven. Do you feel that anywhere in your body? I feel it in my upper stomach. Okay. Even though I feel this sadness and disappointment in my upper stomach. Even though I feel this sadness and disappointment in my upper stomach. Just imagining being in that interview. Just imagining being in that interview. And they're not going to see something in me. They're not going to see something in me. I'm not going to wow them. I'm not going to wow them. I deeply, completely accept myself. I deeply, completely accept myself. Even though I feel this sadness and disappointment in my upper stomach. Even though I feel this sadness and disappointment in my upper stomach. Just thinking about that interview. Just thinking about that interview. I'm not going to wow them. I'm not going to wow them. They're not going to see something in me. They're not going to see something in me. I deeply, completely accept myself. I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though I feel this sadness and disappointment in my upper stomach. Even though I feel this sadness and disappointment in my upper stomach. They're not going to see something in me. They're not going to see something in me. I'm not going to wow them. I'm not going to wow them. I deeply and completely accept myself. I deeply and completely accept myself. The sadness and disappointment in my upper stomach. 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 Because I'm not going to wow them. Because I'm not going to wow them. They're not going to see something in me. They're not going to see something in me. The sadness and disappointment. The sadness and disappointment. The sadness and disappointment. The sadness and disappointment. The sadness and disappointment in my upper stomach. The sadness and disappointment in my upper stomach. Sadness and disappointment in my upper stomach. The sadness and disappointment in my upper stomach. So the sensation's gone. Um, I would say that it's, thinking about it, it's probably very minimal, like a two. Okay. 
All right. And so, again, this is a, you feel like this is a pattern. Oh, yeah. It happened before. Did it happen even before you had your home-based business? Um, so when I was working full-time for an agency, um, it seemed like half of my paycheck went to childcare. And so, um, you know, I was only bringing home half of, you know, what I was making. So I don't know if that falls into it. Um, the, the other place that maybe it, it shows up is that it seems like I, I always have this exact same amount of debt, no matter what I do, the, the, you know, even if it goes down for a while, then all of a sudden, wow, how did you even get up that little bit? Mm -hmm. So okay, that's a, kind of a consistent. Okay. And then um, how long have you been carrying that debt? Oh, man. Um, easily 15 years okay. or more. Okay. And... And before that, you, you were good with money and it was fine? You didn't have that kind of debt? No, I, I had periods where, um, you know, it would increase. And then, um, like, before I got married, you know, I was in college. I, I accumulated some debt. But be, before I got married, I, it was zero. And then, you know, got married, got a house, whatever. You know, it started creeping back up. And then from about then, it's just kind of okay. crept up and stayed about the same. And it's gone up and down some, but it's, uh -huh. there's always that little bit that's hanging over. Right. And um, so I asked people to think about like, do you think it's because you're, you're, you're not saving enough and you're overspending or is the, is it that you're really not making enough? Um, I mean, I'm not saving enough, I can tell you that much, but I think I'm not saving enough because I'm not making enough. Um, okay. okay, all right. And, I, and so I want you to think about a number in your mind of how much you would like to be making per year. Okay. And when you think about that money, how does it feel to be making that much a year? Um, uh, exciting, um, but un maybe unattainable. Like, like I couldn't see how that would happen. And I, and I, I wonder if it's, if I'm tying it to just my field, um, that it's typically not, you know, a high, a high salaried field, especially if you're working for someone else. Mm -hmm. um, and going out on your own? Uh, is terrifying. Okay. Why? Uh, it's just, I wouldn't know all of the, just all of the, the legalities, the renting a space, the, you know, in just all the ins and outs, I feel like would be so overwhelming to me to carry that all. I, the idea is exciting, but it's just that, oh, well, you can't do that. Okay. Um, so what you know about your field is that you're likely not going to be making the amount of money that you would be like to make, be making. And going out on your own feels terrifying because there's, it's overwhelming all of the things that you would have to figure out. And yet yeah. it's exciting and there's a possibility that you could be making the amount of money you want to be making. Yes. Okay. Um, and so what would you like to focus on? The idea of getting over the terrifying part of going out on your own or b making peace with the amount of money that you're likely to be making in your field? Um. I would say the terrifying part because okay. I, I'm all for, let me make a change. You know, if, if I'm going to be doing this work, let me do it to benefit others, but also to benefit me. Okay. Um, 
what would be the very first step that you would need to be taking or thinking about at this point to be working towards eventually going out on your own? Oh my goodness. Um, I, I, I don't even know. Um, I just, there's, you know, finding a space, business insurance, starting an LLC again. Um, I, I wouldn't know, I guess, what would come first. Okay. So just thinking you wouldn't even know what comes first. How are you feeling? <sighs> overwhelmed. Okay. Zero to 10 on overwhelmed. Um, like a, like a six. You feel it anywhere in your body? Yeah, in my upper stomach. Okay. All right, even though I feel overwhelmed in my upper stomach. Even though I feel overwhelmed in my upper stomach. I just don't even know where to start. I just don't even know where to start. And I deeply and completely accept myself. I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though I feel completely overwhelmed. Even though I feel completely overwhelmed. Because I don't even know what the first step is. Because I don't even know what the first step is. I deeply and completely accept myself. I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though I feel so overwhelmed. Even though I feel so overwhelmed. And I feel it in my upper stomach. And I feel it in my upper stomach. I just don't even know what the first step is. I just don't even know what the first step is. It feels so overwhelming. It feels so overwhelming. I deeply and completely accept myself. I deeply and completely accept myself. I feel overwhelmed. I feel overwhelmed. I feel so overwhelmed. I feel so overwhelmed. Feeling overwhelmed in my upper stomach. 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 Feeling overwhelmed. Feeling overwhelmed. I don't even know what the first step is. I don't even know what the first step is. Feeling so overwhelmed. Feeling so overwhelmed. I don't even know what the first step is. I don't even know what the first step is. So I'm feeling still a little overwhelmed, just a little, maybe that's changed to nervous. Okay. Um, and, and I don't know if this is right or not, but as we were tapping, um, like forming an LLC is what came to my mind. Okay. Um, so I don't, and maybe it's just because I was thinking of that. I don't know. Okay. And so, um, thinking about the first step is to form an LLC. You've done that in the past. I have. Okay. So thinking that you would have to do that again to start your own business. How does that feel? Oh, that, that part's easy. It's paperwork. Okay. All right. So you tell me, um, does it feel like a first step that you should be entertaining or approaching and doing now? Um, maybe not right at this moment, but definitely in the near future. Give me a deadline. Um, by the end of summer. The end or of by, summer? By even maybe the middle of summer. Okay. So for you, what, give me a date. Middle, the middle of summer is when? Um, end of, like the end of July. Okay. So can we say July... 30th? Yes. Sure. Okay. So by July 30th, you're going to take the first step towards forming an LLC. Yes. How does that feel? Um, nervous, nerve wracking. Um, Tell me why. Uh, because then I'm actually doing it. And what if I fail? Okay. Um, and we're not talking about failing getting an LLC. No, 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 failing big picture. But that, that, that is, even though forming an LLC is easy, it's, it's now I'm committing myself to it. Now I'm, I'm taking that path. I'm making a choice. And it's that making a choice that, ooh, brings up a lot of, um, a lot of anxiety. Okay. Um, Zero to 10. Oh, like a nine. You feel that in your body? Um, not at the moment, you, okay. but like in my chest. Okay. All right. Even though I feel all this anxiety in my chest? Even though I feel all this anxiety in my chest. Just imagining by the uh, July 30th? 
Just Imagining by July 30th. Um, creating an LLC? Creating an LLC. Because that means I've made a choice and I'm committed. Because that means I've made a choice and I'm committed. I deeply, completely accept myself. I deeply, completely accept myself. Even though I feel all this anxiety in my chest. Even though I feel all this anxiety in my chest. Just imagining that by July 30th. Just imagining that by July 30th. I am creating an LLC. I am creating an LLC. And that means making a choice. And that means making a choice. And a commitment. And a commitment. That I'm forming my company. And I'm forming my company. And that makes me feel anxious in my chest. And that makes me feel anxious in my chest. I deeply and completely accept myself. I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though I feel anxiety in my chest. Even though I feel anxiety in my chest. Just imagining making that choice. Just imagining making that choice. Being committed. Being committed. That by July 30th. That by July 30th. I'm forming an LLC. I'm forming an LLC. I deeply, completely accept myself. I deeply, completely accept myself. Feeling this anxiety in my chest. 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 Um, still feeling a little bit of anxiety, um, okay. but more like a four or five. Okay. Not still in your chest. Yes. Okay. Even though I feel this remaining anxiety in my chest. Even though I feel this remaining anxiety in my chest. Just imagining making that choice. Just imagining making that choice. Making that commitment. Making that commitment. Forming an LLC July 30th. Forming an LLC July 30th. I deeply and completely accept myself. I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though I feel this remaining anxiety in my chest. Even though I feel this remaining anxiety in my chest. About making that choice. About making that choice. About that commitment. About that commitment. And I think the commitment is to myself. Oh, okay. Um, making a commitment to myself. Making that commitment to myself. That I'm going to be forming an LLC around July 30th. That I'm going to be forming an LLC around July 30th. I deeply, completely accept myself. I deeply, completely accept myself. Even though I feel this anxiety in my chest. Even though I feel this anxiety in my chest. Making that choice. Making that choice. And that commitment to myself. And that commitment to myself. Forming an LLC around July 30th. Forming an LLC around July 30th. I deeply, completely accept myself. I deeply and completely accept myself. Good. This anxiety in my chest. 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 Making that commitment to myself. Making that commitment to myself. Forming an LLC around July 30th. Forming an LLC around July 30th. <sighs> yeah, it's, it's pretty minimal. Okay. Um, and so imagine you sitting at your computer or with an attorney going forward on an LLC in and around July 30th. How mm -hmm. does that, how does that feel? Um, it feels okay. It feels like that, that's something I can do. Okay. That, that, that will be easy. Okay. Now, imagine that you have a client. Okay. And that you're asking about money. You're asking them to pay you. Oh, uh, yeah. And so what comes up? Um, oh, oh, goodness gracious. Um, it's just that fear that they they won't feel like my services are worth what, you know, I would, I would need to charge in order to support a business. Yes. Um, so just that fear that, um, again, that I won't be good enough to charge that, to support that. Okay. that 
in your current career yes have you ever had anyone say that to you um, or hesitate paying you and around the idea that you weren't good enough you didn't deliver no okay so it's all you yes okay um, and so where might this idea stem from that you're not good enough um, I, I don't, I don't know. Probably things I've heard, things that have been told to me, um, okay. comparing, right. my, comparing myself to other people. Okay. And, um, do you have a sense that I, that I'm not good enough or I won't be good enough is, um, goes back to, you know, much younger? Oh, yeah. Probably at least school, if okay. not. Um, okay. And can you think of at least one event that just pops into your mind around you either comparing yourself to others or not feeling good enough or being told that you weren't good enough or something like that involving school? Um, and, and, I, and I don't know even why this popped into my into my head. Um, when I was in high school, so I was a freshman going into sophomore, and I was choosing my math class for the next year. The teacher told me, and I was in like the good math class, like not advanced, but you know, like there was like an A level and a B level, so I was in the better one. And so I just assumed, well, I'm just going to stick with you know the A level. And she's like, well, you can do A or B, whichever you want. And so then I was like oh, well, then I guess I'm not good enough. Like, so that's just one thing that st stood out and popped in my head about school. Right. So thinking about that teacher saying that to you, um, how are you feeling right now? Right now? Um, maybe a little frustration. Like, plant, planting that idea in a kid's head. Yeah. Uh, with, with just that one comment, with, without any other explanation. Right. Like, and frustration, zero to 10? Um, probably a five. Do you feel it anywhere? No. Okay. Even though I feel frustrated. Even though I feel frustrated. That she planted that idea. That she planted that idea. She said, you could take A or B, whichever you want. You could take A or B, whichever you want. And that one comment. And that one comment. That plant, that plant was, uh, that seed was planted. That seed was planted. And I feel so frustrated. And I feel so frustrated. I deeply and completely accept myself. I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though I feel frustrated. Even though I feel frustrated. Because she made that one comment. Because she made that one comment. Without any kind of explanation. Without any kind of explanation. And I was thinking I wasn't good enough to stay in A. And I was thinking I wasn't good enough to stay in A. I deeply and completely accept myself. I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though I feel all this frustration even though I feel all this frustration that she planted that idea that she planted that idea. She said A or B, whichever you want. She said A or B, whichever you want. And I took it to mean that I wasn't good enough to be an A. And I took it to mean that I was not good enough to be an A. Feeling all this frustration. Feeling all this frustration. I deeply and completely accept myself. I deeply and completely accept myself. Good. All this frustration. 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 She planted that idea. She planted that idea. That I wasn't good enough for A. That I wasn't good enough for A. She planted that idea with that one comment. She planted that idea with that one comment. Feeling all this frustration. Feeling all this frustration. Feeling all this frustration. Feeling all this frustration. Okay. Um. Okay, so the weird, the weird thing that popped up in my mind as we were tapping was that at that time, she was the teacher for A, and so I, maybe I was thinking that she doesn't want me in her class. She doesn't, you know, she doesn't like me. I'm not one of her favorite students or, um, you know, and that, that comes up a lot, just oh. in different places in my life. So, okay, all right. But, um, go ahead. But yeah, so that, 
just tapping on that experience, that extra little piece came out that, oh, well, she doesn't want me in her class. Okay. All right. Um, and I'm, I'm going to stick a pin in that also. Sure. And the idea, oh, they don't want me. Oh, she doesn't want me. Oh, she's got, because the same thing happened with when we were talking about the high school job. They might already have someone. They, why would they want me? Right. right. They have somebody in that from alum that they have that they're going to pick from, not me. Right. Where, where do you think that comes from? Any idea? Um, I don't know. Um, okay. So I could be wrong, but um, are, do you have any siblings? Oh, yeah. Okay. I have two older siblings. Okay. Um, my brother, fine relationship. Uh, he's older. My sister, um, we are, <laughs> we're very, we're not close in age. We're like eight years apart, but we're very close. We live close. We do things together all the time. Um, we have kids that were born on the exact same day. I mean, it's very crazy. Um, but she definitely, uh, I hate to say that she's like an energy vampire. Um, you know, she constantly gives me those, uh, well, that idea is not good. A couple hours later, I'm going to have that idea. And now it's a wonderful idea. So, okay. Okay. Definitely. So let's try to get to some deeper roots of this. If you don't, if you feel comfortable going there. Oh yeah. And I want you to imagine a scenario really early on in your life when you were a kid. Okay. Where your sister made you feel like this whole, like either you're not in this group, I'm eight older, eight years older than you, you're the kiddo, you know, I don't want you as part of my friend group or something of that nature, or you're not good enough, you're just a kid. So anything like that, even if you have to make it up, come up with a, a scenario, real or made up. Real or made up from early, early on. Yeah. Okay. What could have happened? Yeah, so early on, um, in reality, I was, I idolized her. Yeah. Um, and, you know, she was just the best at everything. Yeah. Um, but I can't, I, I can't, so I have to make something up. Make it up. A situation where she, um, Maybe maybe she didn't let me hang out with her and her, her older friends. So we're going to think about one day where she didn't let you hang out with her and her older friends. And where might that have taken place? Um, if, I think, if I think about maybe a real incident, maybe that didn't happen, but a real incident, they were making a float for homecoming okay. at our house. Um, and it, there were people there and it was exciting and, you know, it was stapling and crafting and um, I just wanted to be a part of it. Yes. And so if she was in high school, I was early elementary school. Okay. And what was the vibe energy or the thing that she said or made you feel um, when you were excited about it and what would have been her reaction? Um, maybe let me hang out for a minute, but then, oh, you need to go inside now. You, can't you need to go that. inside now. Yeah. Okay. And I want you to think about that for a minute. Just imagine that girl and, um, she's being told, you know, you need to go back inside. What are you feeling thinking about that? Um, feeling now. Yeah, thinking about um, that scene. Thinking about that, just uh, what what would it have hurt if I would have been out there? Right. You know, her friends weren't annoyed by me, or I wasn't in the way. Mm hmm. And what's uh, the emotion that comes along with, you know, what would that have hurt? Um, maybe just disappointment. Like I, I wasn't, I wasn't included. Okay. Zero to ten. Uh, like a six. Do you feel that anywhere? Um, 
I don't feel it anywhere. Even though I feel all this disappointment. Even though I feel all this disappointment. Um, what would it have hurt for me to st stay outside helping with the float? What would it have hurt for me to stay outside and help with the float? I feel all this disappointment. I feel all this disappointment. I deeply and completely accept myself. I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though she's, she's outside making the float with her friends. Even though she's outside making the float with her friends. But then said, you need to go inside. But then said, you need to go inside. I deeply and completely accept myself. I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though I feel all this disappointment. Even though I feel all this disappointment. She was there with her older friends. She was there with her older friends. And I was excited about the float uh, and the homecoming. And I was excited about the float and the homecoming. And wanting to help. And wanting to help. Excited that it was happening in my yard. Excited that it was happening in my yard. And she said, "Go inside. you can go inside now. And she said, you can go inside now. I deeply, completely accept myself. I deeply, completely accept myself. All this disappointment. All this disappointment. What would it have hurt to keep me there? What would it have hurt to keep me there? All this disappointment. 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 You should go inside now. You should go inside now. <sighs> yeah, I mean, now it's, it's maybe just a little anger. Anger. Yeah, zero to 10? Um, probably a, a six. Okay. Even though I feel all this anger, even though I feel all this anger. What, it, what would it have hurt to keep me out there? What would it have hurt to keep me out there? I deeply and completely accept myself. I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though I'm feeling this anger. Even though I'm feeling this anger. I wanted to be out there. I wanted to be out there. And she said, you should go inside. And she said, you should go inside. I deeply and completely accept myself. I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though I feel all of this anger. Even though I feel all of this anger. She said, you should go inside. She said, you should go inside. And I feel all of this anger. And I feel all of this anger. I deeply and completely accept myself. I deeply and completely accept myself. All this anger. 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 What would it have hurt? What would it have hurt? All of this anger. All of this anger. She said, you should go inside now. She said, you should go inside now. All of this anger. All of this anger. All of this anger. All of this anger. <sighs> yeah, I mean, just, you know, just, now, now it's just thinking, you know, those older sisters, you know, laugh. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so no anger, no disappointment. Um, no, not that I can think of. Okay. Um, I want you to think about the let's go rewind back to the beginning okay um thinking about the possibility that you're you're going to commit and you're going to go forward with an llc july or in and around july 30th how does that feel um that feels good okay it feels doable okay thinking about um the high school you're going to go in and you're not going to wow them. They're not going to see something in you. How strong is that feeling? Um, the, the thought is more kind of like if, if, if they already have someone in mind or they want someone from their school, then, you know, maybe they're missing out on something. Okay, great. The thought of asking to be paid more consistently and that mm -hmm. three weeks feels reasonable to you to ask for consistency getting paid every three weeks how does that feel um yeah that, i mean that feels doable that's a conversation i okay. can i can have okay i'm going to test you a little more okay. so jennifer you're not good enough to be paid consistently like that does that does that bring up anything um Okay. Okay. Just no. testing. Um, and so the, so the last piece for me is going to be 
um, is just to say that there are probably more table legs under that tabletop. Right. And I and so I, I got the idea of yeah this I you know and I and I checked with you about the sibling thing and older siblings so even if you have to make it up where okay. you know I want you know I really wanted to 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 play or I you know I really wanted their attention or I really wanted them to help them with a project and they rejected me and they said no and they said I'm not good enough um, or made me feel like I was just a little kid. Okay. Um, I think all of that contributes big time to that tabletop. Okay. 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 So uh, that's what I would continue to work on. Okay. Um, and then uh, my other suggestion is to tap on your feelings around debt. Okay. Because, because it's almost like we have to make peace with the debt and not be like so terrified of it that we actually, right. we, so even if it's like opening up the, the, the statements every month and just t tapping on what's coming up as you see those numbers or going online and seeing what your, you know, your credit balance is or so, right. anything that is like the trigger for that feeling of, oh my gosh, I have this debt. Um, Got to neutralize that in order okay. for it to be resolved. Um, but yeah, I think that that's a, that, that gives a, a good uh, sort of a, a roadmap for where you can take this. Okay, awesome, thank you so okay. much. Okay, thank you, that was great. So just hitting stop.